Hello again. Well, there's hints. There's hints. College football in the fall. Hints. But notice I don't have the cap and the shirt. Okay, and if you know if you if you know me, I, I've been an OU football fan a long time, so maybe maybe. But I'm still a little bit worried that it might not happen. You know. <laughs> When we say that kind of worry, we know that we're saying, well, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And, it, and sometimes I've probably been like, uh, it better happen, it better happen. You know, a, and, and we can all pause and say, we understand football is not that big a deal. Not football. I mean, yes, it brings a lot of money. A lot of people are tied to it. And it can become a very big deal for a lot of people, of course. But we understand in the scheme of things, in, in, in all of it, you worry about football? Really? Really? Well, as much as we understand that that doesn't really make sense to worry about a sport, not ultimately, um, Jesus thinks that there's no need to worry really about anything. Um, and he comes along here in the Sermon on the Mount, and we've already looked at it. He believes that if we can build a relationship, this is Matthew chapter 6, if we can build a relationship with God, using all the religious activities to do that, to move us into that, and that we begin to take on his value system and begin to understand what he's talking about that's valuable and not put our treasures here on earth and, and not try to serve both the, the, you know, the things here and God himself, that all of a sudden, we don't have to worry. Therefore, do not worry about your life, what you'll eat or drink, or your body, what you'll wear. And then from there, he goes on to explain why he believes this. And this is the real challenge for us. We're building a relationship with God. We, we believe in his value system. And, and, and we don't want to serve anyone but God. But then we, we still worry. And we, and we have to ask ourselves, as Jesus moves us down through this, where really is our trust? Is our trust that God can completely take care of us? Jesus believes if we can move into that kind of trust, then we can eliminate worry. And so he tries to give us some reasons that we can really trust God. He says, first of all, worry. Wait a minute, you're worried about what you eat or drink? You're worried about your clothes? Well, those are kind of big things. But he says, wait a minute, isn't life about more than what you eat? Isn't, isn't your body more than just the clothes that you put on it? And so, and so he's trying to pull us into this, and he says, think about this. Doesn't God take care of all of creation? He uses birds as an example, and then he uses grass as an example, or the flowers. And he says, look how beautiful everything is. Look at the way that, and, and the point is that the, that the birds don't ever worry about this stuff. They just go and do, and, and God provides for the birds. And so he comes along and, and, and says, think of this. How does your worry help at all anyway? You can't add a single minute to your life. Or, or possibly you could be saying, you can't add any height to yourself by worry. The worry, we get that. I can worry all I want that, that oh, you may not get to play. But my worry isn't going to change whether they do or not. And so Jesus is trying to get us to see that. And he says, don't. Don't you know that you're more valuable to God than birds and grass, flowers? Hey, where's your faith? Where's your faith? And I look at myself and I say, wow, all my worries. Ultimately, in the big scheme of things, when you have a God that cares about you, well, well they're not anything. I'm always worried about something that's not really anything, not to God. And I think when he says, where's my faith, I have, I have to look at myself and honestly say, I'm not so worried that God can't, and I'm not even worried that he, that he does care about me. I think I worry that well, he's not going to take care of me the way I want to be taken care of, provide all the things that I really want. Which then, of course, kind of throws it back in his face and says, I really don't trust you to be a, a good God looking out for my best. I think I know better. And it always moves us to worry, to worry. And so when we look at and spend some time here with Jesus, 
He really thinks everything. There is no need to worry about any of it. So, where's our faith? Where's our faith? Are we putting our relationship in God? Yes, I think we are. Are we buying into his value system? Yes, I think we are. Now can we put the full weight of that on God and depend upon him for everything? And then everything, everything can be eliminated as far as anxiety and worry about it. God is going to take care of it. We hang on to that. Well, so then, do we do nothing? No. Next time we get together, let's talk about what Jesus says. Hey, don't worry, but do. Well, we'll look at it next time.